Coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Junior Dos Santos and Andre Bishop. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponents. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. All right, here he is, the affable former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Dos Santos. The knockouts have started to pile up again for him. The Luis Doria trained boxer really starting to find that form yet again as he tries to track down another UFC title shot. That shows the quality of the mentality of Junior Dos Santos. To go back and reset when things aren't going well and you find yourself trying to skid, you go back and mentally fix it. Junior Dos Santos has fixed that. He never did not have the skills. He went back and he fixed the mental, and now it's put him right back where he wants to be. The fight against Derek Lewis showed that he has the patience and the calmness to withstand the storm, and then when you give him an opportunity, he still has that quick strike ability to finish a fight. A lot of confidence in his chin, his toughness, and of course his recent alignment with the American top team in Coconut Creek, Florida. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 37. The Brazilian is 40. He weighed in at 238 pounds. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 12 wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 218 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Andre! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A boxer holding a professional record of 24 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 238 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Junior Chicago! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Lavin. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, here we go with round one. I couldn't even get my wife a ticket to this fight. Why? Because this fighter has won the majority of his recent fights by knocking. Flush KO. People want to see this guy compete. He's not out there for the judges. He's not afraid to give up a round. He's not afraid to take a shot on the chin to land one of his own. And that's why he's become one of the more popular fighters in this division. We'll see if he can get another knockout here tonight and work his way towards his first UFC title shot. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Punch coming. It's blocked. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Dos Santos gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can round. Oh, and he gets tagged. Beautiful combination there, and I'm not sure how many more of those power shots he can take, honestly. The diet is almost over. If you keep getting hit the front like this, you are going to sleep. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. I right, will no surprise the striker has come out at his aggressive best here early, really throwing everything with fight ending intentions. He's throwing everything to end the fight, and he has to, because the longer this fight goes, his opponent has the advantage. 
Right hand punch from the clinch. Nice kick landed there by Bishop. Left hand is true. That will absolutely work. He throws it like a piston back and forth. He's landing that beautiful left hand. Oh, nice punch there by Dos Santos. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quickly. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind an educated jab. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize he was coming high, and now he's got hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Now he gets a more dominant position with the ball, oh, and now the hip toss in a great position. Now he's going out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Gets the elbow up into the target. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Elbow landed there by Bishop. Under two minutes now to go in round one. Upstairs for an elbow. Elbow there by Bishop. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, man. This ground and pound is good. Let's Probably go. my Do favorite something. striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land a beautiful ground and pound combination. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming, but until you're in there with the, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Back and forth we go. Nice strike. Just misses with the jab there. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, that's a strong slip there, and then the wrist. Now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I and mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that up the Oh, he might be out. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Round two straight ahead. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. Nice. That's what I'm talking about right there. You got that round, all right? You got it. Let's get this next round. All right, keep doing it. All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Oh, big punch lands. Oh, and he caught the kick. Shot is blocked there by Bishop. Oh, collar tie. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Oh, big uppercut there. Didn't get the 
knockdown, but that is a significant strike. A very significant strike. And now his opponent may start to drop the hand to block the uppercut, so look for him to throw something else now up top. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And there comes the separation now. Oh, there's a trip to get the takedown. Back to the feet now. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. Nice. Late Attacks the body. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Got the single collar tie. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes up. And they set it. Again, going back to the jab just out of range. Beautiful body kick. It's the elbow there. Ooh, big shot lands. Right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, oh, man, look at that picture. Perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful thing. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Buck. Oh, his opponent squirming like a fish out of water now. The ground and pound is on point. This could very well be the beginning of the end. This could be the beginning of the end. We've seen some really good ground and pound fighters. This young man is as good as any we've ever seen. All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. Oh, nice job to defend the takedown and scramble to his feet. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no. no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Well, you better start doing something defensively. A lot of these knees are landing to the puck. I mean, and it's going to drain you. You cannot stand there while someone has a clinch and it's just driving knees into your body. All right, so another good series of knees by him there, DC. That has been his weapon of choice tonight. Weapon of choice because his opponent has not figured out where the knees are coming. High or low, every time he throws them, they're landing. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Dos Santos gets touched by that kick there. Wow. And both guys really throwing with authority. Effective punch there by Bishop. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. <laughs> Able to land with the left hand there. Bishop's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Oh, a nice straight there by Sagan. Knee to the body now. It's blocked. And they set it. Good stick. Right now, we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. Crowd fired up, so are we third and final round. Beautiful strike. 
might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He lands a massive blow to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. A full-on display of all of his skills. He did everything in this championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called to stop to this contest. At one minute, 15 seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout. All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career. And gotta be nice sometimes with all the hard work that you guys put in when it goes down exactly the way you drew it up. A lot of people talk about doing certain things. It's harder to deliver on those promises you make to the public. Tonight, he did exactly that. Congratulations.